Okay, show about this bandit woman. He's been bold skills her all the way down here from New York City. Morning, Cousin Fan. You kill your morning, Uncle Jeff. Mighty peculiar. Is it generally known that Bill and his lady friend have a child with them? No. And she ain't even met Mother Burnside yet. Oh, oh. looks like we're gonna have some fireworks here at Peckerwood. Well, now. <laughs> what, Sadie Cato? Hello, Jeff, honey. Didn't Rat expect you to be coming around for the doings? However, could I stay away when me and Bo have been engaged in grammar school? I wouldn't feel like a true daughter of the South if I didn't just ooze out all the hospitality that's simmering my innards. What do you mean I don't look happy? But regard, I'm always happy. <laughs> Why you don't talk about that New York Philly? All I can see around here is family. No more. Except in you, Sally Cato. When we got peaches here right from the picking, I can't see why anybody would go hankering after some northern alligator pear. Mother. The war between the states is over. Don't give me any of that Appomattox applesauce. Well, the pound bush in it. <laughs> Why, hello there, Sally Cato. Mame, Mame, honey, we're all out here waiting for you. Oh, I'm just busting to meet your sweet little old mother. Oh, what's the coming bowl, sugar? Mother, may I present to you Miss Mame Dennis. on my kids, folk. Charmed! Don't worry. You'll all be first name each other. As soon as I flush another gal from her in the punch bowl. I'm Sally Cato McDougal. I could tell from the first instant I set eyes on you that we was going to be the closest of friends, May. Why, that's awfully kind of you, Sally Cato. Was it horses that brought you and Beauregard together? Horses? My butt would be practically born blue with anybody who wasn't born on a horse. <laughs> well, I wasn't really born on a horse, but riding is my life. Dear me, every day up at the crack of noon. <laughs> that sounds like here I've been racking my poor little brain, trying to figure what special I could do to show you how I feel about you being here, and what could be sweeter than a hunt. Uh -huh. <laughs> At dawn tomorrow, everybody's invited. Won't we have the lark, all of us, leaping those hedges, jumping those river gaps, the hounds yapping around those boulders? I tell you, Mame, every eye in this county is going to be on you tomorrow morning. If I'd only known, you see, I didn't bring along any of my riding dogs. Don't you worry, Mame Child. I've got dozens of old things you can wear. You do ride a stride. Oh, no, no. Side saddle. Always. <sighs> now, isn't that grand? I have a little old side saddle that'll do you just fine. <laughs> Punch, ladies. <laughs> Boat, darling. We're going to have a hunt at dawn tomorrow. And you want to hear something fantastic? You're sweet. A little Yankee friend's gonna ride side saddle. <laughs> no, I won't allow it. It's too dangerous. But Bo, darling, she has insisted. Well, you know what? Whatever Mame says she can do, well, she can do. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold my breath until dawn tomorrow. Do that, honey. <laughs> <laughs> 